Hello, sixth graders, it's Ms. Seigner. So I will be showing you how to write a quality artist statement reflecting on your artwork. So under classwork, if you click on Zentangle Portrait Artist Statement, there's a couple attachments that will explain this project in a little bit more detail. So one of them is a handout that talks about what an artist statement actually is. Now an artist statement is usually a couple paragraphs that describes what you make and why you make it. So it is kind of a stand in for if you are not there to explain your artwork. For example, if I walk into a art gallery and I look at a painting, usually the more abstract or simple a painting is, there's a lot of thought that goes into it. And I may not understand that thought without reading an artist statement. So reading that artist statement, it may tell me why the artist created that work, their overall vision, what they want from me as I look at it as a viewer. Um, sources and inspiration. It talks about the techniques they may have used and just generally why they may make art, their philosophy. So again, you may want to write an artist statement so that the viewer can better understand your artwork, but also you might want to write an artist statement for other opportunities, like if you apply for jobs or a gallery space or for grad school or undergrad school. But we are using our artist statements a little differently we will be using it as more of a reflective writing element. And it will be loosely based off of your ELA uh, rubrics. So you will be writing two paragraphs. Paragraph one, describe the strengths of your artwork. What turned out well? What aspects are you proud of? This is you talking about successful points of your project. Paragraph two, describe areas for improvement within your artwork. Each art project we create will hone our skills, will grow. We always learn something from our previous projects. Even professionals do. They're always growing. So what is something that you think you might do a little differently next time? This handout will better help you understand what an artist statement actually is, but this handout describes what I am looking for as I am grading this. There are three things I will grade. One is the paragraph about your strengths. So for full points, your exceeds expectations points are above and beyond section here. Um, I will be looking for if you described a strength in your picture and used substantial, accurate, and direct references to your artwork, much like your evidence and elaboration portion of your ELA rubric, just one small portion of your ELA rubric, you need to make a statement and defend it. What is something that turned out good and where is that in your project? Why? Um, there's also uh, three for meets expectations. Most students may lay in that area because there's always a little we could do to improve. Two means you're missing a little something. One means you did not meet expectations and I'm not seeing very much or at all any evidence of uh, you justifying the strengths in your project. Paragraph two for areas for improvement, you need to point out the area in your project you do a little differently and provide evidence about that. So describe where that is and why it uh, could be done better. And again, uh, for four, three, two, and one, these are the, the, the aspects that will get you those points, four, three, two, or one. Will your, does your uh, evidence have substantial, accurate, and direct references? Can I clearly visualize what your artwork looks like just based on your writing? And then vocabulary usage. Did you use at least three substantial examples with thorough descriptions? I assume the reader does not understand these vocab words. You may, at the end of this project, forget what some of your vocab words are. And we can refresh ourselves a little bit by going down to our Zentangle slideshow. If you need to add your vocab, because you need at least three vocab words snuck in there, take a look at some of the things that were highlighted. The word Zentangle has its own slide. It is probably a vocab word. 
So you'll sneak in the word Zentangle and maybe describe what a Zentangle is because many of you didn't know what a Zentangle was at the beginning of this project. Assume the reader doesn't either. The word um, uh, line, color, rhythm, pattern, if they have their own slide, proportion, it is probably a vocab word. So if you can use the word line, if you can use the word pattern, if you can uh, talk about your use of color, analogous or complementary, those are all vocab words that are going to help you in writing your artist statement. So in completing this project, clicking on artist statement reflection, you need to fill out your name, class period, you are Tuesday, Thursday, 8th hour, art project, Zentangle portrait. And this is where you write your statement. So for paragraph one, what's something that turned out well? I made a Zentangle portrait project where I drew a picture of me with various patterns in the background. I think the best part of my portrait is the Zentangle patterns I put in the background. These are made up of many patterns of repeated lines and shapes and maybe go in to talk a little bit more uh, for areas for improvement. Talk about what you might do differently. Maybe you uh, were a little messy with your watercolor. Maybe uh, your colors blended into each other by accident because you painted two wet areas next to each other at the same time and they bled together. Maybe you didn't mix a color as good as you wanted it to. Maybe your colors uh, are too alike and nothing pops from your design very well. Maybe you didn't use a variety of thick and thin lines and it might help improve your project if you play with thin pattern lines and thicker lines for separating different shapes. I don't know, that is up to you. So again, if you're not sure what I will be looking for when I am grading, double check before clicking submit because this is a grade make sure it has a substantial evidence of where your strengths are and substantial evidence of where your areas for improvement are point out where they are in your project so with that in mind good luck writing your artist statements